Hi everyone, I am Boran. In this video, I will solve a couple of questions about calculating the capacitance. Um, so let's begin. In this question, um, we have a metal uh, plate which has uh, the thickness of T, um, and uh, there are um, also uh, metal plates on the top of it and on the bottom of it, but they have no thicknesses. Um, between the plates, these three plates, uh, there is nothing, so the, the electric constants of uh, them are epsilon zero. Uh, the questions, question um, wants us to calculate the capacitance of the system. Um, so it, um, it is important to point out that uh, this metal plate has no effect on capacitance since if uh, we consider this system as two capacitors in series, uh, I mean, we can consider the system as this uh, two capacitors as series because this is just a, a conducting uh, wire. Uh, it, it means nothing else. Um, so we can consider this as this one. Uh, so what we should do is to calculate this capacitance and this capacitance, then uh, we will add them in series. So um, this capa uh, the capacitance of this um, middle capacitor, uh, let's call it C1 and C2. So this is C1 and this is C2. Uh, C1 uh, equals to epsilon zero, the electric constant of the two um, areas. Epsilon zero times, um, but uh, in the question it is given that the metal plate has uh, have the surface of A, A area of uh, area A. So epsilon zero A uh, divided by uh, this thickness, which is D one. Uh, for the second capacitance, capacitance uh, it is calculated in the same way. Epsilon zero times A divided by D2. Uh, we have two capacitors. Uh, we should add them in series. Uh, how we, uh, if you remember, uh, capacitance equal, equals to um, 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 to the minus 1. Now, uh, just turn over D1 over epsilon 0 a plus d2 over epsilon 0 a just turn it over to the minus 1 then uh, c equals to epsilon 0 times a divided by d1 plus d2 so this is the answer for the question um, in the question as you, as you can see uh, in this case we have uh, two capacitors in series now I want to show you another question. Uh, this time we have three capacitors uh, in parallel. Uh, it is the same method. We will just calculate the capacitance, uh, capacitances uh, uh, separately. Then we will add them in parallel this time. So I um, will just do the addition. I won't just show them uh, separately. Uh, so. Uh, capacitance of the system equals to, uh, as you remember, parallel capacitance. Uh, when we have parallel capacitors, we add the capacitances in order to find the equivalent. So, for the first part, we have um, K1 epsilon 0 dielectric constant, um, K1 epsilon 0 times. Um, the side of the place is L, so L is the depth times L over 3 is this part, just this part is L over 3 divided by um, the distance between the place D plus this for the second uh, area K2 epsilon 0 um, L to that times L over 3 divided by D and for the last time K2 
K3 is the second um, area nearly the constant. K3 times epsilon 0 L L over 3 divided by D. So these this part is the same for all uh, all of them. So you just need to add K1, K2, K3 and multiply it with epsilon 0 L L over 3 divided by D. Um, I want to show you something. Uh, sometimes uh, the question says um, as you go in the x axis, the directive constant always changes. There is a formula in the question. Uh, so, when that's the case, you, you need to take the integral over the x axis because, as you can um, uh, say the integral means summing uh, all uh, capacitances actually for the uh, infinitesimal areas. So what you should do when you see uh, the electric constant in um, a formula of x is that you need to integrate over x-axis. So that was the video. Thank you for watching.